Welcome back to No Can Do and welcome to my bathroom. Check, check, is this thing on? Check, check, check. Check, 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 is this thing on? I've been making over my apartment room by room after a terrible breakup and now I bring you the bathroom makeover. Keep on watching to see some renter friendly DIY hacks, tips and tricks, whether you rent or own, you can try this in your home. So come see the before. This is my apartment bathroom. It's pretty small, but it has everything you'd need in a bathroom. There's not much color or anything really interesting in here. All of the fixtures are your kind of standard renter fixtures. Uh, and the bathtub is peeling. That's a whole other story. They said they're going to fix it. I really don't like this mirror, honestly. I don't love that everything in here is white and I'm just hoping to put some more color and character in this bathroom with this DIY bathroom makeover. First step is deep cleaning the entire bathroom and I'm scrubbing and even getting into the fixtures as you can see. Next up, I'm installing a new shower head. This one is much nicer and I got it from Target. I'll link it down below in the comments. I think it was less than $40. Surprise, behind this mirror is a terrifying hole that used to probably be a medicine cabinet. Uh, there's also a lot of like scuffs on the wall underneath where the mirror was. And so I'm just going over with some paint from the landlord and touching up a little bit to try and make it look a little bit nicer. I'm hanging a new mirror. Again, I got this one also from Target. These chrome towel bars have got to go. So I'm going through and using whatever tools I can find to get in and get the tiny, tiny screws out. And uh, I'm gonna install some new things. Instead of those chrome towel bars, I got these cool, Towel bars from Urban Outfitters, actually. They were super on sale online. So they have these little like wood mounts, then um, kind of like a goldish bronze-ish bar that fits in them. So I think this is just gonna go with like the theme and decor of both my bathroom and also of my entire apartment a little bit better. I am keeping all of the original hardware and everything, of course, from the apartment that was there so that I can put it all back whenever I move out. Hopefully that won't be for a while. Speaking of hardware, I didn't like these little handles or knobs. And so this is probably the easiest thing you could do if you're renting or even if you own is just switching out the handles or the knobs um, of cabinets and things like that for something nicer. I found these little knobs at kind of like a thrift store for um, construction stuff. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's a secondhand um, home renovation place. Uh, these are vintage and they're super cute. Now I'm hanging up some artwork. And again, you can kind of see I have like a gold bronze theme going on in here. If only I had gotten uh, the shower head to match that, but maybe too much matching would be bad. I don't know. Now we're on to decorating. I got these little plant holder sconces for free in my apartment's free area in the laundry room. That's right, we have like a give and take area where people can leave things they don't want anymore. Um, and now I'm hanging up some eucalyptus I got at the farmer's market. I've heard that this is just nice in the shower and has a nice smell. And yeah, I've added some other art to the wall as well. Okay, so here's what the bathroom looked like before. Again, just kind of your standard rental fixtures and such. Not much color or life or character. And here it is after. Nothing too dramatic, but I think that sometimes the smallest little things can make all the difference. I added a neutral shower curtain, some more plants. I love having some plant artwork, some nice hand towels that add a pop of color, and of course, um, the beautiful mirror. I really like that as well. I 
I got this hand soap dispenser from Target at the last second and I really think that it adds some nice color as well and everything's kind of in a warm tone so you can see that I've added lots of reds and pinks and kind of earthy clay tones and I'm really liking that in this space. That's it for this video. Let me know what room you'd like to see next of my DIY department. Thanks everybody!